I've got a good idea. Let's make the Avengers for kids. Rise of the Guardians is the name of the movie. The Guardians referring to all our holiday heroes and them coming together as one fighting force to protect the world and the dreams and hopes of little children everywhere. It is a lot like what the Avengers is in that these heroes of the holidays are very much like the superheroes of our childhood. Santa Claus is there, Easter Bunny is there, the Tooth Fairy is there, and now Jack Frost is there, and that is the central character in this story, and one that makes this character, uh, makes this movie, I should say, work on a lot of levels. Is it a perfect movie? No. Is it a great movie to take your kids to? I think so. There's a lot to be liked here. First of all, DreamWorks is really getting the hang of telling a good story, and Rise of the Guardians does that. There's a real story here about what it means to be one of these heroes in this world, and what it means to be believed in or not believed in, and how Jack Frost relates to that, and how he finds who he is in kind of his world. And there's a lot of emotion there, and I think they get that part right. One thing they're still struggling with, and one of the reasons it's not kind of a hit it out of the park kind of film, is casting. The voice casting of this is just a little bit off. Uh, the Santa Claus character never works for me. I know they were kind of going with a big, buff, different version of who Santa is, but I just never quite got into it. The Easter Bunny, I think it's Hugh Jackman, and it just doesn't quite fit. Uh, and overall, the Tooth Fairy works, Sandman works, no voice casting. It's all in the acting. He has no voice. Uh, and Jack Frost, I think, works really, really well. And other than that, there is a little bit to be asked of as far as how they are playing these performances. The plot is a little stretched out and maybe even a little complex for a movie like this, but I followed it fine. It kept my attention, except for a few moments. Uh, enough so, though, that I thought it was kind of a worthwhile watch. And at the end of the day, that's kind of where I land with Rise of the Guardians. It's not Pixar great. It's not even DreamWorks at its best great, like How to Train Your Dragon or something like that. It's kind of, you know, better than Shrek, but maybe just by a little bit because it's got a little bit of heart. But as far as a Saturday afternoon goes with the kiddos, really can't go wrong.